Obi gets a V6, part 5 of 5. Been promising you this one for a while. As you can see by the credits, previous four videos, bits and pieces, variations of what it took to install this. A lot of different stuff has changed since the initial video. So hopefully this is the final version and we'll get to see this puppy run at the same time. Popped off stand here. Let's go around real quick. Final configuration. I ended up adding stock MG style overflow tank. Put the sensor for the dual fan controller directly in the radiator where the old one used to go. And that's actually controlled by the PAC 2700 that's now been programmed over on the side. Fuse panel and fuse box. Relay box is up. Two fuses still unused, no problem there. Gives me some expansion. Box in the back is 10 relays. See the 100 amp circuit breaker. Separates the car from the starter and the battery. Fusible links on the CS130 alternator as it ties into the starter. Isolates that if there's ever an issue. Connectors, punched them through the rubber plug. Kind of hidden, nice clean layout. Water plumbing for the heater has been completely revamped. A little cleaner installation. Flush plug added to the hose line going into the heater. You can also see I've used the MGOC uprated two-speed electric fan in the heater box that's been pulled and reinstalled. Uh, maybe another video I'll show you a neat trick for getting the box in and not mangling your control cable. Just have to work through the little vent over on the side in the footwell passenger side. Worked fine though. New brake reservoir and plumbing's been working pretty well. No problems there. Finally got a proper pressure switch. Not sure, kind of generic. About a 7 psi shuts down. To, uh, give me an idiot light for oil pressure. Motor had been in and out a few more times. A few more clearance issues. Stacked some washers under the mounts to get the positions and clearances I wanted. Gave me a little more clearance on the pulley. Everything else is pretty much as you've seen it in the past. Still haven't bothered with the AC, but that's coming. Just trying to decide on what internal units I want to use. Okay, I got the puppy outside. Let's see, a little chilly out here today. I'm just going to go ahead and put the camera down here, rev her a few times, let you listen to her, see how she sounds. Let's see what we got going here. I did a little bit of light test. I don't know if you noticed the LED lights blinking or not, but they were up there. Got Mega Squirts up and running. Get a reasonable view of what she's doing. <coughs> Foot on the gas pedal. Doesn't sound bad in here, actually. Muffler's pretty quiet. Let's see what's looking in the engine compartment. Yeah, it sounds like a fan's just kicked on for the first time. Should shut down pretty quickly here.
that radiator fan shut down. Yeah, I'm liking this puppy a lot. Okay, just seemed to jive pretty well. Just under about eight, nine hundred RPM, fourteen and a quarter volts or so. Looks like I got about thirty pounds of oil pressure. AFR sitting just under 13, 12 and 3 quarter. Almost 20 pounds of vacuum, 19 pounds of vacuum. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Coolant temp says 190. Gauge says 190. 35 kPa. Well, I'll have to look at it, but it's pretty close to 20. 12.8 AFR, yellow gauge. That's just about where I'm floating around. One upper inch cool temp and manifold air temp says about 80. All right, well, since it's 40 degrees outside, it's obviously sucking some colder air. So there's a little bit of heat soak there. I can probably tune that out, see if sucking some cold air cools that down. Yeah, manifold temp starting to drop a little bit. Yeah, colder air coming through since the air sensor's in the uh, intake pipe. It's dropping off. Great. Alright, this is just a quick test to see what this thing sounds like from a distance away in this microphone. I don't know if you'll even be able to hear it or not. Not even quite five grand. Yeah, we'll see.